Prime Minister Dr. Kenny Anthony has extended congratulations to the students and schools who excelled in this year's common entrance examination. As you know, Ariel Albert of Dame Paulette Louise Primary was a top student and achieved a score of 96.67%. The Montessori Center was the top private school and PI combined the top public primary school. Dr. Anthony said it was noteworthy that students have attained the highest scores ever in mathematics and English this year, which may be indicative, he said, that investments in education are bearing fruit. The Prime Minister urged all students to continue to strive for excellence. 2,372 students wrote the common entrance exam. The national mean was 63.78%, an increase of 2.88% over, over 2014. An estimated 1,292 or 54.47% of the students scored at or above the national mean. Of the students who wrote this year's common entrance, 2,359 were, were assigned to secondary schools. Meantime, the Montezuma Center is reveling in another year of success. The top-performing private school fielded 31 students at the common entrance examination. The student scored marks ranging from 96 to 67.7 percent, surpassing the national mean. Faye Sherman is the grade six teacher. Teachers, along with parents and even children themselves, they motivate each other, and um, nobody wants to see anyone fall by the wayside. So what they do on a daily basis um, is help each other. If you see, if, if someone sees someone having problems in a particular area, you have children who will work, you know, with the weaker ones to ensure that no child is really left behind. The Montessori Center prides itself on hands-on teaching techniques that continue to yield student-centered results. The Montessori way is a way where the focus is on the child. So it is the child who learns, and that is the whole focus of all teaching. So each child is seen as an individual, and we try to teach each child individually as much as we can in a classroom. Success is the culture throughout the school. You have to, you, each child is asked to bring their best every time. And so when they come to grade six, we expect nothing less. And we demand it and they give it. From day one, I was working towards the top five and if not, top, the top ten. And I usually kept to my goal while studying and revising my work very frequently. But there was a lot of pressure on, cause especially considering the number of students who wrote the exam. So then I had to push myself, I had to study. I just had to try to do my best. And I think that's what I did. A second child to yes. make it in the top 10 yes. uh, in the country. That must really make you feel very proud and very happy as a, as a mother. Yes, as a mother, I'm very proud and I'm very happy to have two kids who made it in the top 10. I'm very happy. How do you at home reinforce what the principal, uh, what the principles of this school are? Just at home, how do you get the children to stick to it? Because a lot of parents find it difficult to get their children motivated to do that schoolwork. How do you do that? Yeah, because from what I see from this batch, there were one wonderful set of children. The competition was very high. So I used to tell my son, if you have to be in the top ten, just just think the school scenario. You have so much competition. So just the island wide, you'll have a lot many students like that. So you have to be in the top ten. You have to work from day one and throughout the year. And he did that. Past papers helped him a lot. He did a lot of past papers, which helped him to be here today. And Yudi Erz and Latanya Bruno will be attending St. Mary's College and St. Joseph's Convent, respectively, along with their classmates. Some students will also attend the current secondary school.